Hi guys, Mikey Kaz here. Now you'll be very, very pleased to know that I've now got a microphone for my Insta360 X3 uh, and I'm going to test it so you can listen to my ramblings more whilst riding. Aren't you lucky? So I'm out for a ride on the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 which I very kindly got on loan from Royal Enfield. Um, it's been a miserable day and I've come out for a ride sun's came out and oh, just needed some air so thought I'd take you guys along with me so you can enjoy the ride with me so what have you been up to? have you been out on your bike? have you been anywhere? Are you going on holiday on your bike? If so, where are you going? I'm looking for ideas for next year. So I've recently got back from 16 day touring Spain and France on the bikes. So we got the ferry down to Santander. There was four of us. Um, and we had two nights on the ferry which actually went way quicker than I thought it would I thought I'd go stir crazy but I didn't so we got to Santander we then went to a little village called Rue de Cabrales uh, just on the edge of the Picos where we spent two nights and it was just a fabulous little village there was literally a pub um, a disused church which was a shame uh, and just houses little village um, and that was it the pub also doubled up as the, lo the local convenience store then we went over to Figaro's Salas which is just further along northern Spain stayed in this beautiful house with a swimming pool in the hills middle of nowhere um, downside is of course you had to walk uh, take the bike to um, shop or pub or anything you couldn't couldn't walk anywhere but um, we just got barbecue stuff so we were there for two nights which was amazing we then rode to the Rioja region uh, to Angolins just outside Angolins Anguiano sorry um, where we stayed in a monastery for two nights which was just spectacular the views were just amazing um, and that there are three monks still there and two priests so it was really interesting uh, going into the church and seeing them and their rituals and their services really nice place really interesting place um, uh, and we stayed there for two nights food there was good uh, basic but good and plenty of it which was good so once we'd done our three overnights we then uh, went up to Brittany where we met a couple of mates and we stayed at countryside holidays in France in Brittany and um, we had three nights there um, really nice stayed at Rogers before uh, he and his wife Linda are the hosts and honestly if you can stay there it's amazing he's got a bike shed Rogers have been a lifelong biker he's got bikes there old cars really is an interesting place to stay um, and he will cook you dinner if you want to um, or you can do your own thing it's entirely up to you um, but definitely worth going and then of course once we left Rogers we then made our way up to Normandy where we stayed in Gournay Ombre and we had an overnight there before our trip to the tunnel on the Saturday to catch our train home I can't believe how quickly 16 days went just amazing amazing trip saw some amazing scenery met some really interesting people and the roads were just fabulous wow loads 
of bikes out tonight. Where are they all going? So I've got to say, really taken with this Royal Enfield Interceptor. Really nice bike to ride. Love the riding position. Very comfortable. Now it's not, not your flat out sports bike by any stretch of the imagination. And that's not what it's designed for. But it's a really nice bike. I can't stop riding it. I've been out on it so many times. It's just comfortable, easy, so easy. There's no modes, it's just you and the bike. You're riding it, you decide how it's to be ridden, which is just perfect. I love it. There will be a full review coming on my website, bikercas.com. Don't forget to check that out. Um, and also my video on YouTube, the more in-depth review of the bike on there. 